Hello, everybody. Um, so uh, this is our, I don't know what installment of pastors and in minivans. And um, it should just be pastors going on errands because right now Phil is uh, getting getting gas over there. Um, so I think he just uh, doesn't like to run errands alone. And so he does it here. Um, so uh, thank you all for uh, watching and for all the comments that we've uh, gotten. Really appreciate all of those. And I'm still trying to get Phil to do carpool karaoke. We'll see if we can make it work. Give us a little bit. We'll see what we can do. Um, so for now, we're just we're just getting gas. Um, but the past couple weeks have been uh, really great. We've been talking about um, James, focused on uh, James passages and uh, what all uh, things James has to tell us. And um, in addition to that, the education hours have been fantastic. Adult classes have been learning more and more about immigration. Youth classes have started a new thing uh, with collab a new curriculum called Collaborate um, using infographics. And so that's been going really well. And the children have been learning all about uh, Abraham and Sarah. So, oh, look who decided to join the party. Um, so we've had a great uh, past, uh, the past few weeks have been just awesome. Oh, and confirmation started and we gave out Bibles last Sunday. It's been, it, we, we've been doing uh, really, really great things. We've been having a great time. So now that Phil is back from running yet another errand, um, we can ask him, so Phil, what are we doing this Sunday? This Sunday, we're going to talk about Yoda from Star Wars and you. <laughs> Yoda and you. Is it the Muppet Yoda or the CGI Yoda? Because I prefer the Muppet Yoda. What's a CGI Yoda? Oh well, my god. Okay, never mind. It's the, the f episodes four, five, and six. Okay. It's I, mean, I mean, one, two, three. Four, five, six is Muppet. All right, it's the Muppet Yoda. Good, 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 good. It's the Muppet the originals, Yoda. The originals. Yeah, the original, original Yoda. Yoda. Good. So I was thinking about this because I went to the Star Wars exhibit down at DIA. Marguerite and I went last Saturday. And it was really incredible. And there's lots of people there. So you stand in line and your ticket is a, a time when you can go in. And you have oh. to stand in line until you can get to this time. And that's how they manage the flow of the crowd. Oh, that makes sense. So uh, we get up there to the beginning of, a, of the line and they have this really cool thing. They have this little recording device and uh, it, ge it gives you a tour of, and tells you what's in the exhibit. So you go from place to place. And oh, and it, and it, then it, it knows where you are? No. You, oh, good. <laughs> you have, there's, a little, there's a little sign and you type in the number and then it talks to you. Oh, that's cool. And this is also how they keep people moving. You know, once well, you're done, you, <laughs> you go to the next go one. Go to the next one. So you get up there and they give you these instructions and they say, okay, look for the little number on the exhibit and punch it in. And like, it'll be 101, 102, 114. And you'll get a lady that will tell you all about the Star Wars and all about the costumes and how they put it together. But if you want to go a different way and hear a different thing, it's Jedi training. And the numbers start with two. So you punch in the numbers that start with two and you'll go through Jedi training. And I'm sitting there thinking, well, this is a no brainer. I, I want to go through Jedi training. As Yes, exactly. So Anyone who's not a Sith would want to go through Jedi training. I so that. I get up to the front of the line. I said uh, to this person who was giving these instructions, uh, what's the Jedi training number again? And they started <laughs> laughing. So, you know, I, I go in and I'm punching in all the 200 numbers. And I'm going, I'm being trained as a Jedi. And it's giving you, telling you things about being a Jedi and what it takes to be a Jedi. And it's saying stuff like, a Jedi is always acutely aware of their surroundings. So I'm repeating this to Marguerite. I'm thinking, she's on doing Jedi training too. I'm thinking everybody would pick Jedi training. And, and so after a while, you get into the room with the robots. And there's R2-D2 and there's C-3P. 3PPO and they say, okay, young Jedis, look at all these original drawings before uh, we, we built the prototype for the movie. Mm -hmm. You know, can you tell the difference with, between this drawing or find the original drawing of R2-D2 and note how it's different from the original model? Yeah. And so I'm in a group of 10-year-olds and we're all <laughs> talking about this. We found the drawing. 
and we're talking about the difference between you know that, that drawing and what was in the movie and I'm having a great time Marjorie comes up she goes what are you listening to and I said well I'm doing Jedi training aren't you she goes no I'm not doing Jedi training I'm an adult I'm, I'm paying attention to the costumes and she said hey mister be acutely aware of your surroundings you're by far the oldest person in here doing Jedi training. No, that's the kids program. <laughs> and I said, I said well, oh, they didn't the give an age range. They, they just said if you wanted Jedi training. So I said, do I have to go back and go to the beginning and do it all over? She goes, no, you are finishing your training. <laughs> So, wow. the very last one, mm -hmm. the last exhibit is Yoda, and they have a Yoda there, mm -hmm. and they tell you all about Yoda, and interestingly, Yoda was modeled after uh, a historical figure that you would recognize, and I'll talk a little bit about that on Sunday, but Yoda's... Get your guesses in! Let's Yo post Yoda some guesses! Yoda is modeled after an actual historical figure. And uh, after it was done, and I completed my training, uh, I, I was just thinking about it uh, coming home, and, and uh, that everybody needs a Yoda. Mm. Everybody needs someone who can speak wisdom into their lives. And not just wisdom that they made up or right. on their right. own. But I mean the wisdom of a tradition, the wisdom mm. that's accumulated through experiences of many people and uh, over the course of time, everybody needs a Yoda. So that's where I'm going with okay. on Sunday. And, well, uh, and it, now you're a trained Jedi, so we should definitely well, listen to you. <laughs> I can't believe that. <laughs> so, and, and just to be serious for a second. Oh, well, do I. You know, this is what the book of James is talking about and okay. Jesus is also talking about. And so we're going to talk about wisdom okay. and where it comes from and that everybody needs a Yoda. Yoda in you. That's where we're going. Okay. And, and you're good to remind everybody that the guy talking to him on Sunday is now <laughs> a trained Jedi. There we go. So... <laughs> Come hear the Jedi speak about Yoda and uh, wisdom, which I think that uh, we could all use a little bit more of that. So, now, did you tell them what else is going on on Sunday? I didn't know what else was going on on Sunday. Church. What else is going on on Sunday? Exactly, just church in that hour, and it's going to be good. We don't have any food. <laughs> no, food. no food. food. Then I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't just want... our normal great deacons have a little <laughs> exactly There's... nibbles after worship. Exactly. So. Uh, so we hope to see you on Sunday, and uh, it'll be uh, it'll be a great time. Um, May the force be with you. <laughs> Amen, and also with you. <laughs>